Hello dear ones, this is Alice. Uh, I've been climbing up for a view of the Sunset Crater National Monument and I climbed for a while and got very out of breath and and here's what I saw. This is behind the trees. There's a lot of beautiful trees. There's the crater and I guess it's been there for quite some time because there are trees growing all up on it. And uh, while I was sitting and contemplating the crater, I got to thinking about strong emotions such as um, personal love and personal hate and, uh, and anger and fear. And uh, I thought I would just talk about that for a minute because they're sort of like eruptions from a volcano, you know what I mean? Um, and then all this lava spills out in the way of our emotions kind of makes it hard for things to grow in the landscape for a while. Um, but I'll get a picture of those that lava flow a little bit later on, maybe. But in the meantime, let me see if I can fix this. Okay. And I'm turning around to a view. Right. So I went to a psychic, uh, an energy healer yesterday in Sedona, and I talked to her about strong emotions and, uh, and uh, the framework of it was, was psychic attacks. I was asking her what to do about psychic attacks, which have been happening rather regularly for a long time now, over a decade. And uh, she had some interesting things to say, uh, very common sense things, as well as energy healing. And one of the things that she said was to look at the emotions around the things that are happening in our lives. Um, the things that, especially the things that happen habitually, habits. And, and, and what she was saying is that this, this sensing of these emotions that I didn't want to feel from other people, this psychic attack nonsense was a habit. Just like, uh, for instance, I have another habit, I don't like paperwork. And so I have an emotion around those things, it's separate emotions around those things. And the thing to do, she said, is if you can't avoid something in life, and if it's a habit or a routine, a long-standing routine, and it has negative emotions around it, the thing to do is look at it and explore it and try and find out ways um, try and find a way to to f to feel that to experience that ongoing activity that has been placed in the forefront of your awareness with joy. And so, at least I think I can do this with my paperwork, <laughs> and maybe I won't be the sunset volcano. <laughs> And so, then with regard to psychic attacks, she said, just, you know, just treat it very lightly. Laugh, smile and laugh. And so that kind of, and then change your attention to something on earth. Feel your feet, feel the joy of things around you in your life, like this beautiful view here. And I think her advice is excellent. And so, maybe it'll be good for you too. I hope you have a wonderful day. No great volcanoes. Maybe we'll have a little footage of uh, lava flow after this. We'll see what, what, what shows up on the road.